Thank you, audience. Okay, welcome back. I'm really excited because one of my guilty pleasures, and I've shared this with you before, is Logo's reality show, The A-List New York. They're exactly like the housewives with all the juicy drama, but they're all gay men. Take a look. None of us are playing sides. Like, no, I, I definitely yes, chose yes. sides. My You're alliance is obviously with Riken. I enjoy him, I want to make sure he's happy, and I don't really have a rapport with you. You don't have to judge me because you don't know me. No, I don't know you. And it's very so what I know, you. Austin, shut we up. Know you don't resist you. for me, okay? We know shut about up. You. Tell me what to shut you? up. Shut up! Oh my god. Oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, see what I'm telling you? It goes down on the A-list, and I want to welcome the entire cast. Everyone, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna get you up to speed. They're fans also. Okay, Riken and Rodney are boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. Uh, Riken and Rodney's relationship, they've broken up a hundred million times on the show, but apparently right now you guys are? Uh, you, well, you have together. to watch the show. They've got an open relationship and including threesomes. Well, I mean, you would think that we would have an open relationship. Whoa. Um, you, you would think we'd have an open relationship from watching the show, but I mean, yeah, we've opened our relationship before, but um, it's not really how we define ourselves. And at the end of the day, it works for us, and it's all about if we're communicating correctly, it works. You have to watch to catch up to speed. Austin is the troublemaker, but I love Austin because Austin is like, what are you, 21? 22. 22. Um, and, <sighs> and he has, well, your mouth says anything, and we love that. Plus, I'm still thinking that you're crushing on, on Riken. Well, my fiance's in the audience, actually. So oh, okay. Oh. I'm now, just... you guys, Ryan is the only one in what they call a stable relationship. He is married to yes. his partner, who happens to be a black man, eight years older than him. Mm -hmm. They live in a fabulous penthouse. Listen. He lives the kind of lifestyle that a lot of women wish that they could live. A oh, fabulous penthouse in New York. You've got a hair salon that with, with, with no clients. Uh, one who is a, here. A-list clients and Isaac Mizrahi, who is here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fabulous little place. All right, Thank let's you. move along. Derek. Yes. Derek is the single one, everybody, and he is looking for a millionaire, the older the better. <laughs> <laughs> he also... I am, I am. I, I will. Take that, 100%. I, I want someone with a nice lifestyle. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you also happen to be besties with Lindsay Lowen. That is correct. How's our girl doing? You know, she's doing well. Um, I'm very supportive of her. She's always supported me. I'm going to see her today, so it should be good. He also, Derek also, um, is a big wig at a modeling agency here in New York, so That's he correct. lives a fabulous lifestyle. And then there's Mike Ruiz, who hey, already boy. had an A-list fabulous lifestyle. You've got your money. You've, you, um, Mike specializes in taking a lot of pictures, particularly celebrity redos. I did a view, of You've course. shot me before as Jessica Rabbit. And uh, Mike is the elder statesman of the group. I there's, am. there's me as Jessica Rabbit. Oh, shot yeah. by, yeah. Back, there, there are two people here who have dated people that we already know. Riken, um, first of all, you won Amazing Race mm -hmm. uh, back in the day, and you also dated Lance Bass from NSYNC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then we have, um, well, mm -hmm. Austin. <laughs> Austin dated, well, was in a relationship with the famed fashion designer, Mark Jacob. And so. <laughs> We, we learn more about all of this when we watch the show, but Rodney, um, you know, what I wanted to ask you was, you broke up once because you found some really sketchy text messages in, in Riken's telephone. Um, there's a lot of jealousy going on and a lot of, a lot of sketchiness with you guys. Um, how's, how are things now? Is that you know, my now it's fine because I was upset because we have agreement. Like, dude, don't do nothing in my back, you know, no. Let's be transparent between us. And I found he was talking to somebody behind my back. And I don't like that because we have this agreement. You're like, let's be transparent and let's take the life easy. You know, don't do nothing behind my back. And in the, he did. In, in the meantime, look at Austin's body language because he thinks their relationship is a joke. Austin is totally leaned over. Like, I don't even <laughs> want to be bothered with them. <laughs> Austin. Austin, why do you think their relationship is a joke? Um, I'm just, I'm very vocal about how I feel. I'm in a very solid, healthy, happy relationship, and as you watch it unfold throughout the series, it's just, it's, it's something to laugh at. 
for me. So it's mm -hmm. just a bit disgraceful to our relationship. I mean, our, our, our relationship goes now. through mm -hmm. ebbs and flows. We have our problems and we have more good times than bad. And it's like we get judged so heavily on our bad times by, you know, the rest of the crew sometimes. Mike, you've been criticized uh, for uh, being part of a stereotypical portrayal of, of the gay community. What, what do you say to that? Well, you know, our goal and our intention with doing the show was not to represent an entire community. I mean, that's physically not possible for six men to represent, you know, millions and millions of men. So basically, you know, the show is just meant to be entertaining and fluffy. And, and But I do have to comment that from what we do with it now and, you know, use it as a socially responsible thing is, is what... You know, I'm hoping that we will all do, which is what I'm trying to do. Well, well, while many people might say, while many people might say that Riken can't sing, um, and you'll have to judge that for yourself, you do have a song, a, a single for a good cause, part of a Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Tell about your military background. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I graduated the Air Force Academy. I was in the Air Force for nine years, and uh, I was in the Air Force under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and. Um, I wrote this song because I got a letter from uh, someone flying in Afghanistan in the Air Force who couldn't speak to his partner because of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. They couldn't communicate freely. So I wrote this song and produced it um, to raise awareness about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Austin's body language is crazy. <laughs> Ryan, darling, you know I love you. Listen, boys, I want to ask each of you something, and I need quick answers, and we're going to start with you, Riken. Um, how do you know that your man is on the down low? Because we girls want to know. Give us some cues. One, go ahead. Uh, if a guy is overly uncomfortable around gay people, he's hiding something. Okay, Rodney? How they check me out. How they check you out. <laughs> okay. Austin? Um, ant a lot of anti-gay vocabulary. You know, very hurtful words about gay men and their lifestyle. Ryan? For real, like if your man is saying no homo, he's cute but no homo. Okay. Big sign. Oh, Derek? I would say designer underwear. If they buy designer underwear. I'm sorry. It's and, like who pays my... expensive money. Um, I I'd say if they're like manscaped bald. Oh! <laughs> you guys, it just so happens that I am hosting the reunion of the A-list New York. And I'll tell you about that another time. In the meantime, check out the rest of the season. The A-list New York, Monday nights at 10 on on Logo. And the reunion, oh, by the way, is December 6th on Logo, okay? And we'll be right back. <laughs>